Rossi Stone, and you're tuned into another in the lecture series from the hood. Today I'm talking about three types of white people. Um, very important that you understand these types of people because when we run into them, when we deal with them, when we have business, um, uh, we need to understand the different psychological dynamics that are happening when you inter interrelate with with um, with our, our white brothers. The first uh, uh, one um, is the the stereotypical um, white racist, the one who joins the KKK, who's open about his opinions about how he don't like black black people. Um, the ones that go and you might see um, on TV marching down the street, um, and and what's important about that personality is is that today in today's system they change. Um, they they're the everyday white person that you see on TV in terms of um, a family life and someone that you might see at at, at, a, um, at a job site. Um, they infiltrate now. Um, different institutions, and they don't, um, they aren't as easily recognizable as they were in the past. So that's very, very important for you to know. The second um, type is the person who the nice, the nice white person who will let you know or let you believe that they're on your side. Um, this particular type of white person. And what's good about them, the one good thing about these group of white people is that they stopped the KKK and, and the first group from killing off black people. And the reason why they stopped the KKK and the first group from killing off black people is because they need black people. These are the group that exploits black people. These are the ones who need black people around to make them feel good about who they are. You know, as long as they're better than a black person, they're happy. As long as they can come to the black community, maybe give a few dollars or make a speech, and black people worship them at their feet, they're happy. They move and they go on back home to their big homes in the white suburbs. These are the white people who are the, who are the ones um, who might participate in a scholarship program for, for some underprivileged child while their children are super privileged. Um, these are the ones who um, we look for for hope um, to, to save black people. Um, but really it's just, just uh, a, a situation where they use black people to get funding, to keep themselves employed, um, funding for teaching positions that they're not qualified for, teaching over black ch children that they can't uh, relate to, children who, who, ha who haven't learned how, to uh, 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 learn their, their alphabet, let alone anything else, and they still get to keep their jobs even though they do a poor job. So these are, these are uh, pe people who need to exploit black people on every level, and they come off as these uh, do-gooders um, helping black people. The third group is the group that comes and says, look, I'm just as black, I'm just as black as everybody else. Um, I even want to come and live with black people. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> I want to come and live with black people. I want to, I am black. And they give up their whiteness and their white privilege to be around black people, to marry black people. Um, and and our position with, with those individuals is not to give up your privilege and your power of, uh, in terms of um, being white. Get those jobs and infiltrate the same way that the white people who hate us infiltrate. You know what I'm saying? So these are three groups that uh, that I knew normally, three personalities that I know normally come in contact with. And um, my suggestion to to the last group is to keep your power. Um, don't don't give up your white your your whiteness altogether. Get back in there and and um. Use some of your power to benefit black people. Um, we're in a war right now, and we need all the power and, and um, leverage we can get. When dealing with the exploitative white person, you're not going to get anything out of them except for um, a pat on the back um, and, and maybe some crumbs. 
but their whole situation and position in life is to be over you um, and to feel good about themselves by helping you. And they can't do that if you're equal. So those, that group will never, ever want to be equal with you. Um, the KKKs and the, and, the, and, the, uh, and the white supremacist people who are infiltrating uh, different levels of government, um, we're just going to have to fight them head up. Um, sometimes it's hard to prove um, that, they're, that they're racist, but we have to always look and focus on their actions, and their actions will tell us everything we need to know. If they're constantly passing policies that hurt black people, then we know what they are. You can't go on a smiling face and how they dress or, 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 or if they pat you on the back or on the head or, or anything else. We have to go on policy alone. You know, if this policy impacts black people in a negative way, then they're the enemy. Pure and simple. So, um, if you have any comments, if I missed anything, I've missed anything. Um, if, if the... If the um, these these uh, people that I described are a little too simplistic for you. Um, it's, a, it's a generalization, so don't fit everybody. But um, if you want to add and give me give me some research that I need to look up, um, I'll gladly do that and add it in the next in another video. Love and peace.